everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Minnie and I love sharing all things handbags, accessories, bath and body care and a little extra. If you guys are new to my channel, please make sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button. To all my new subscribers and our returning subscribers, welcome and our welcome back. In today's video, guys, we are going to be doing Wednesday's question of the day, guys, and I am excited about this one. So today's question that I posted on my IG page was, do you have a handbag routine for doing, for before, during, and after wear? So once again, do you have a handbag routine before, during, and after wear? Now, guys, this question, I had to ask myself a few times because when I first started my handbag collection some years ago, I did not have a routine for my handbags. And then over the years, as I started to learn more, I started to do better. So I developed a small routine, but it wasn't a consistent one. And now that I have been collecting handbags for some time now, within the last, I will say, probably like four and a half to five years, I've developed a more consistent routine for my handbags. Now, I asked this question because I had purchased a bag and I did a video on it and it was a, I believe it was my white Minnie Mouse bowl satchel bag from Dooney and Burke. And it, it's the main background of it is in white. And I was not sure on how to take care of that bag without getting it messed up because of the color. And, a, and one of my subscribers commented that I should probably try to buy some kind of um, protectant spray to spray on the bag. And I was hesitant about it because I've never done that with any of my bags. But I was like, it's a good idea, so I'm going to try it. So what I decided to do was go ahead and look at purchasing some kind of leather cleaner to use on my leather bags and also some kind of um, stain repellent for my coated cotton canvas bags and things like that especially my lighter color ones, the ones that can really show stains. So when I did Wednesday's question of the day, I asked because I wanted to know, does anybody else in the handbag community have a routine as far as what they do with their bags when they first get them and during their carry and after they finish carrying their bags? So for me... My routine, what I like to do is I have my little, this is like my little notebook or planner. The, this is a planner cover, I should say. And then I have like um, just regular paper in the inside. And in here, I just like to keep a record of what I bought. So on here, as you guys can see, I just like to list the name of the bag, the color, the price and the date if I can remember when I purchased the bag. Now, of course, my most recent bags, I remember the date so I can go back and I can look and see, but I'm also starting to write down like my accessories, my SLGs as well too in this notebook as well because I wanna be able to keep a record of the bags that I bought. So one, if I choose to buy a, um, a second bag, I wanna make sure that in the style that I like that I don't pick up the same color or maybe even the same size. Like if they have multiple size, I may want a different size. So I can always reference back to my book and see what I have in my collection already so that I don't end up repurchasing the same exact bag. I also like to keep record so that I can see like what I purchase a particular bag for, especially if I want, like I said, a duplicate of a bag, but just in a different color or maybe a different size that I can look back in here and be like, oh, I got a satchel in such and such color, but I don't have it in a black. So I need to pick up a black one. So this is part of my routine is writing down my handbags and keeping a record of what I have. So the next thing I like to do once I already get my handbag and I unwrap everything, I 
personally like to get a disinfecting wipe. And yes, I said it. And I don't use this on all of my bags, especially not my Florentine bags. But any of my other leather bags, like my pebble leather and stuff like that, or my coated cotton canvas bags or anything like that, I will get a disinfecting wipe and I will lightly wipe down my bag just to disinfect it, let it dry, and know it does not leave any stains or anything like that on the bag. And I have been doing this for years, so it does not. But what I do is once I've already wiped it down and I let it dry, then I, if the bag came already stuffed, I leave it stuffed. If it came with a dust bag, I put it in its dust bag and then I store it in my closet on the shelf. Any bag that I have that is luxury or contemporary goes in a dust bag. That's just me. And they are all stuffed. If I purchase a bag and it doesn't come stuffed, I usually have extra stuffing. So I will take that extra stuffing and I will stuff that bag so that all my bags are able to keep its shape. And I will put it in a dust bag. That's just what I like doing. Like I said, if it didn't come with a dust bag, then what I do is I end up getting a satin pillowcase from the dollar store. They have them for $1.25 and I will pick one up and I will put my bag in there, tie it off, and it stays in my closet on the shelf until I'm ready to use that bag. Now, that's just my routine for before I actually wear my bag. And what I also like to do is I try to make sure I always keep the registration card. I try to make sure that I keep the tag for the um, bag as well too. And I try to keep the receipt if one comes with it. And I put all three things in the back zipper compartment of whatever bag that I have or slip pocket. That's why I store it at so when I do my videos, I can reference back to what bag this is, what color it was, how much it cost, all that good stuff so I can share that information with you guys as well too. But also so if I forgot to write it down in my book that I can always grab that and write it down in my book as well too to keep record of it so that's what i normally do that's my routine before i even wear my bag so doing the process of me wearing my bag of course i take it out the dust bag and i take all the stuffing out i put all the stuffing inside the dust bag and i put it back in the closet and then i put all my accessories or however whatever i'm repair my bag with i put all those things in my bag and depending on how long i'm planning on wearing this bag if i know i'm gonna wear this bag for at least like a week or two then what i will do is if i know i'm gonna wear it for a week or longer each week, at the end of the week, I like to take all my stuff out of the bag and I like to take any receipts, any change that fell in the bottom of the bag, any lint, any of that stuff. I try to take everything out the bag, shake out the bag, and I make sure that there's no lint or anything left in the bag. I put receipts where they need to go at. I put the extra change back in my wallet or my change pouch, and then I put everything back in the bag. And I will do that once a week if I know I'm going to wear my bag for at least two weeks or longer. Now, if I'm wearing my bag for only a week or a couple of days, then my afterwear is what I'll do next. And that's the last thing I do until I wear that bag again, which is I will wipe down my bag once again before I put it up. And like I said, I only do like a disinfectant wipe. So I don't do like a leather cleaner or any of that. At least not as of right now, I don't. But that is something I do want to incorporate in my routine because I want to help my bags last longer, right? So that will be something that I will end up incorporating in my routine is purchasing a leather cleaner and cleaning my bags with leather cleaner to help the leather stay as soft and supple as possible on my bags. But when I've already finished wearing my bag, what I like to do is take all my accessories out and then I make sure the inside of my bag is clean. I don't have no receipts, no coins, no paper, any of that left in my bags. And then I take the stuffing, I put it back in the bag. And then, like I said, after I've already wiped everything down and let it dry, I put it back in this dust bag and store it back on the shelf. Now, one thing I also want to incorporate is I have my bags in a dust bag, but they're not labeled. So anytime I need to actually 
get a bag, I have to try to either remember where I put a bag at or I have to open up dust bags to see. So I am going to start creating tags for my um, dust bags so that I can put it on there so I'll know what bag it is and the color so that I won't have to worry about doing that portion. But as far as everything else, that is my routine and that routine works for me. And I know everybody, some people have routines, some people don't. And most of us are well, should be doing what's going to be convenient for us, but that just works for me. Like I said in the past, I never worried about cleaning my bags with leather cleaner. The most I did was wipe it down with a disinfectant wipe and kept it moving and put it in this dust bag. That's all I did. But I also realized my older bags that I didn't really take care of and didn't have a routine for, those were the bags that when I look in the inside, your girl be like, ooh. The inside of that bag is a no-no. Like, mm-mm, girl, what was you doing? So, yeah, now I actually have a routine where I try to really take care of my bag so I don't have those issues and I don't have to write about any stains getting in the inside, the interior fabric of my bag. So that's why I developed a more consistent routine within the last five years. So when I posted my question on ig a lot of you guys did respond so i just wanted to take the time really quickly and share with you some of the comments that i did get guys if i mispronounce your name or whatever please don't come for your girl in the comments i'm, I'm already apologizing if i do okay like please don't come for your girl okay um but yeah um i'm gonna start off with Lynetta Key One, she said, yes, she do, but she didn't put like what her routine was. So, you know, at least I know she does have a routine and whatever your routine is, girl, I hope it works for you because I know right now this routine is what works best for your girl. Okay. So Charm by Carmen, she posted that she said, I don't think I do. And that's cool and fine because like I said, when I first started out with my handbag collection some years ago, I did not have a routine except for, like I say, wiping my bag down and putting it back in this dust bag and on the shelf. That was my routine. But now, like I said, I've done a more detailed routine because I've noticed the bags that I really did not take care of. Those are the bags that I end up having to get rid of because... They looked horrible and I'm not even going to lie because I'm not one of those ones who I baby baby my bags. So I just realized that if I'm not going to baby my bag, I need to have a routine so that I can keep my bags looking as new as possible for, you know, as long as I possibly can. So that's why I develop a routine for my handbags. Um, next is going to be says what and Miss says is on IG as Dooney and Burke and she commented twice. So her first comment was, I tried to look mine over after I used one and wipe off marks. And then her second comment was, I put the brush cover things on the tassels. So those are like, um, I think she's talking about the brush covers that you get for your makeup brushes. That's what she uses on her tassel. And when she mentioned this, I commented under her comment that I don't use those brush um, covers only because I don't wear makeup, so I don't have them. But I just like using a small rubber band and I don't wrap it around twice. I just slide it up on there once. It's a small rubber band and it does not leave any indentations on my tassels. And any bag that I have tassels on, I've had them for years and they don't leave marks on there. Like, so like I say, I only slide it up one time, like halfway up the tassel and I have no issues with it. So that's just how I do my tassels on my bags that have tassels. Just in case somebody is like me and you don't wear makeup and you don't have those, but I know you can still order them even if you don't wear makeup, but that's just what works for me. I try to use what I have so I don't have to spend unnecessary coins. That's just me. Um, Another... YouTuber um, Angelina 1977 mentioned, only thing I do is make sure that I dump all the content. And that is something I had to learn how to do as well too, because in the past past, I did not always take all my stuff out of my bag, like receipts and things like that. I didn't always take stuff like that out of my bag. I have went in bags that I hadn't used in some years and I have found receipts, I have found loose coins, I have found uh, gum in there, medicine. So 
That's why I said I had to develop a routine, a new routine for my bags because I found that I was leaving stuff in my bag as well too. So like I said, within the last five years, I have developed a more consistent routine where I make sure I check all my bags, check all the pockets, make sure everything is emptied out of the bag before I restuff it and store the bag back in its desk bag and on its shelf. Um... So Queen Bee 340 mentioned, I don't store mine in bags, so I wipe them off prior to use with a water-based water, water baby wipe or dry cloth. I make sure they are completely empty when I'm changing bags by checking all pockets so I don't lose items and I don't store anything in my bags. So like I said, everybody is different and everybody is going to do what best works for them. But I asked the question because I really wanted to see if anybody routine was similar to mine or if anybody had maybe like a better routine or something that they do that was different for me that would work for me and my routine. And I love everybody comments and I love that everybody is posting what works for them. And I feel like, you know, that is something that we definitely have to do. Um, Julia B82 commented that, nope, she just switches them. And I was the same way. When I tell you, I would just switch out my bags. I would put them in a dust bag, but I would just switch them out. And like I said, I didn't even used to empty all the contents out of my bag. So that just goes to show I've come a long way in my handbag collection on how I take care of my bags. But I thought that this was a really great question because I feel like there's a lot of us who are new to the handbag community and we're becoming collectors and we're not necessarily sure how we should take care of our bags so that they last us for years to come. And so when we share information like this, I find it extremely helpful because there there may be things that I'm doing that somebody may say, hey girl, well, you know, here's a little bit of advice. Do the X, Y, Z or whatever. And I could do the same for somebody else who may say, I don't do anything with my bags or whatever. And some people who don't do anything with their bag, their bags may last them or whatever. Like I said, for the most part, my bags last me. My only thing was, like I said, certain bags, I noticed that if I wore them more often and I did not do any form of routine with them, those are the bags that I saw I had the issues with. So that's another reason why I try to rotate my bags and try not to go back to wearing a certain bag too soon so that I don't cause too much wear and tear on my bag. But yeah, so I hope this video was super helpful for you, super helpful for you guys. I know it was helpful for me. I loved seeing you guys comments that you posted on the IG page. Um, I will try to post the question of the day a little bit earlier than Monday. So it'll give everybody a chance to kind of read the question of the day, think about it and post your comments. But I really love seeing you guys comment. I love seeing you guys interact so that way I can post your comments on my YouTube channel as well too. And if you didn't get to post on my IG, that's okay and I'm cool and fine. Just leave your comment down below and just let me know if you got a routine. You don't have to tell me exactly what it is, but just be like, yeah, girl, I got a routine and it's working for me right now. Or girl, bye. I ain't got time for no routine. I just store my bag on the shelf and every now and again, it gets a little wiped down and, and I'm good to go. But yeah, let me know down in the comments whether or not you have a routine for your handbags or not. All right, guys, until next time. Please make sure to stay focused and determined on achieving your goals for the day. And I will see you guys in my next video. 